Hello Zebrahead, welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Today, we're making our way through the 11th dimension, 1954, through all the inverted versions of each level. Uh, this episode, I wanna play as Coco. We've been playing a lot as Crash recently, so might as well switch it up a little bit. I don't know what costume we wanna do, but we should be unlocking more along the way, so I might just like switch it up as we go. Maybe we'll do her bare bones version. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, with that being said, let's go into our first level, Snow Way Out. Inverted, and yeah, if we do get all the gems here, we do unlock a new skin for Crash, so that'll be cool. Um, but I do know that this world was super duper difficult, the normal version, so why would the inverted version be any easier, you know? But it looks like, I don't know if this loading screen is like indicative of what we get, but it looks like we're getting like a comic book filter. We're about to find out. Uh, but yeah, should be a lot of fun. Of course, it's been challenging, but a really fun ride just to go through everything, and yeah, look at this. It's like a Crash Bandicoot comic book. I don't know, that was a thing. So in this level, we have 153 crates to get through. It does look like the crates sort of stick out a little bit, at least when you're close to them. We have to slow down. But in general, it's a little hard to make some things out and that's a little bit concerning. I'm hoping this <laughs> this doesn't give me a headache. All right then. So yeah, we got to slow down so we can use that to you know, get stuff like that. Okay. Not good. Whoa, that's so cool. It even has like a little comic book Flavor text. Oh, I like that. Yeah, wham, boom. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and try to, okay, don't mess this up. Let's try that again. Oh no, got it. Okay, not a problem. We figured it out. Oh, I love it when they really add something cool to it like that. All right. And just scoot through there, no problem. You will also to be on the lookout for, uh, what is it called? The hidden gem, that could be anywhere, so look around for it will be important. No, no! <laughs> I went right past that platform. That's not what I meant to do. Yep. Okay, might not be able to get this one done in under three lives, but that's okay, it happens. Oh no, um, I'm fine, I'm fine, I got it. Let's just explode all that. That'll do the work for me. Much better. Well, I don't know. I'm not playing very well right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, much better. I've sort of been making things too complicated here, but we got it now. Already up to the bonus? Interesting. Hoping that I didn't miss too much. I've been trying to uh, be diligent, but sometimes I make mistakes. Oh yeah, that's right with the time slowdown thing. We can run across things like this. Whoa, it's super icy though. All right, boom. What did that even do? Okay, there's stuff down there, which I'm not super interested in. There we go, much better. Okay, down that way, we have some stuff. I just wanna explode the nitro roll fast. Do that, and then, oh no. <laughs> Fall to my doom. Okay, I get what I have to do there though. I'll try that again. And with all the deaths we're having, this Coco skin actually pretty fitting, right? Okay, so this time, I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna go past all of that stuff. Much better, okay. Bouncing, got it. Just gonna explode that stuff the first time. Gotcha, let's play it safe. Okay, we're making stuff work this time. So that's just like a, a solid crate. A little weird. Okay, um, I don't think there's any way to destroy that. Whoa. All right. And then I should just be able to get past all of that. Hopefully that'll be everything as it is, all 33. Okay, we're getting there. Let's keep moving though. Yeah, I'm still like, I like the comic book stuff so far, but I am still worried it's gonna end up wearing on me a little bit. Cause it is a little hard to see. I do see. Whoa, hey, it wasn't done. Okay, that's all gonna do stuff. That was Cortex, I think. But up here, there we go. We don't have the time slow down technique right now. The technique, the mask, I don't know. Uh. Gotta wait for that to fall. Much better. 
I definitely think if there's anywhere a hidden gem is gonna be, probably somewhere around here. So if we can just keep an eye out, that'd be great. Okay, there's a checkpoint. There's still plenty left at this level, I'm sure. Got our first, uh... oh yeah, we can go way back here. I gotta sort of like remember it, but remember that it's flipped now. Okay, there are some crates. Oh no, oh my. Ah, oh, that is so tough to do. Just like little tiny movements. Oh well. Let's get back over there. Wait for this. Luckily, that was the only crate I really saw. Oh, we got our first Wumpa Fruit Gem there. So as soon as this one pops up, we can do that. And we're heading back over here. Okay. Looking good to me. Get rid of that guy. There's not too much happening there. It still might be Penta Penguin. I'm not sure, but how's the purple scarf? Wow. All right. Boom. Gotcha. And oh, don't forget. Hidden little area over this way. And that's where the gem is going to be actually quite easy to get this time because we need to go here anyways for all the crates. So I was just able to do what I remember from last time. And we got the checkpoint. So we're up to 105. So 48 more crates left. Oh, I got the time slow down. All right, ready? I got it. Gotcha. You're out of here. Okay, that might be a bit of a challenge. I think that if we, uh, timing's not that good. Whoa, but I made it. Okay, we're, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Let's just keep doing fine. Got that checkpoint. Cool. This angle is uh, not the most preferable. I'll try for it. Okay. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> That's not what I want. Okay, um. Uh, <laughs> why is that so ridiculous? Boom, we got it, up to 121. Oh, we don't have the thing. Oh, I thought we saw the master, I almost ran into my doom. Okay, definitely going to get the Aku Aku. I see some stuff over that way, nothing down there. Uh, okay, quite the jump to make, we made it. Very good. Uh, it definitely is harder to see our little landing circle. Okay, and there go those crates. So over to the right, there was a couple more. This is gonna total us to 133. From what I can see, that looks like everything, so we, we can just keep going. 20 more crates to get, that really isn't too much in this game. And a couple of them, I mean, are hidden back there, but a couple of them are also nitro, as you can see. So that's gonna make a difference. Whoa, okay, I was worried that was gonna explode the TNT right in my face. Okay, so here's our sort of moment of truth. Uh, 151 and boom, 153. So our first time sort of threw it in the replay through the level to get these crates. That's awesome. And we got the hidden gem and all the one for fruit. So basically all we have to do for this level is play through it one more time without dying more than three times. That should be no problem. Let's give it a try. Okay, there we go. Got it done. So there's all the gems out of the way for this level. I think we did unlock a new costume for that. Yeah, Shred in the Gnar. Oh, it's like a skateboarder, I think. That's pretty cool. So we'll check that out probably in an upcoming episode or something. Um, but yeah, there's the first level of this done. Honestly, not too much of a struggle. Um, we were able to get through it. I'm just glad we got through all the boxes on the first try. That's recently been taking me multiple tries. Anyways, what do we got next? We actually have a Cortex level. So let's go over here and see how it goes with Cortex, hopefully it goes well.
The bandicoots are en route. I must okay. reach the spot. <laughs> Alright, so while Cortex is monologuing, I sort of have to familiarize myself with how to play Cortex. So 176 crates to get in this level. I'm sure most of them will be uh, quite difficult to get. Oh yeah, that's right. We can shoot things and turn them into platforms. So we can just get up here, no problem. Get ourselves some cool stuff out of it. So I definitely want to try to get that. Bounce back up and boom. Easy. All right. So same thing with this. When he hops up, turn that into a bouncing platform. I'm a little curious to see what's going on down here. Whoa. Okay. A little scary. We got it though. Much better. All right, so we're already at the 13 crates, not too much, but like it makes a difference. Like one little bit at a time, right? Go down here. Then we can use this guy to get back up. Okay, we're making it work. Making it happen. Do you see a couple crates up there? How exactly do I get to them? Oh, like that, gotcha. Okay. So far, yeah, lots of crates that Cortex can just grab like this. I'm guessing this is another one we want to bounce off of. Luckily, oh my, okay, there was, hold on. This might be a little bit of a challenge to get back to. <laughs> I wasn't wrong. Ah, oh, we're way back here, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. Um, But yeah, I guess I gotta get back over there and make sure I get that one crate before I leave. Okay, I don't know why that took me so many retries, but I did get it. It's just funny because we did so well on our first way through, and took me like five additional times. Have yourself a bite of bandicoot stew. Okay, so gotta get across here. That was a bad idea. Um, we're just trying to get across like this. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I do not trust it. I don't, how am I supposed to do that? I did get a checkpoint though. Okay, thank goodness. Sometimes it's just sort of like kick up like that. I think that's just like when you go for it. Cause I could probably, you know, hit this if my timing was good enough. Ah, no! Wow, this level's just not giving me a break right now. This is insane. Okay, um. Doesn't really make too much of a difference over there. Okay. <laughs> horrifying, absolutely horrifying. There's an invisible wall over this way. So, definitely going over here. We got it. Oh, no, is it? That was the rest of the Cortex level. So, like, we gotta explore that Nitro by the end of it, of course. Anything back here, though, is the question. I gotta make extra sure. Just land on that guy, please. Hmm. It's really not looking like it, but like I absolutely do not trust this game. <laughs> um, okay, I probably don't want to go any farther than this. So I don't know if these guys, I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. We've we've died plenty of times. Ah, yeah, getting past that is gonna be tough. I don't think it's gonna be past that. Okay, we checked, and if it wasn't up there, then we're good. Okay. There we go. Got it. Okay. It's the, just the thing is we have so many more crates to go. It does make me a bit concerned. I don't care too much about the Wumpa Fruit at the moment. Maybe I should. I'm going to do that. I do see some wireframe crates. Are there any like back here? Oh my. Whoa. Got it. Doesn't look like it, so I think we're good for right now. Like bounce off of that, land on this platform, and then check out what's over here. It looks like that one crate, and then a bunch of TNT. I should explode all of it, yeah, it jumps us up to 45. I need to get over here. I like how this guy's like, He's, ah, an enemy, but he's not really, he just stands there. I got hit by the flame crate that time. 
It's unfortunate though, because I do have to go through and get all of us again. There we go. Okay, so I got him. Not too much going on to the left. Up on top of that one ice cube. But I guess there's another thing to hit at some point. Okay, there's the hidden gem. That's cool. Uh, but I'm a little bit confused. Where is the exclamation point crate? In here, maybe? Yep. Okay, so we have to do a little bit of backtracking, as far as I can tell. I'm not too far. Well, actually, maybe. Oh, I see. So I'll hit that. I don't think it goes any farther back than that. So I could, you know, worry about all these crates and everything, but I think we're fine with this. I don't think we're doing battle one per fruit. We already got the first one per fruit thing. Don't mind. Uh, okay, we're making it, we're making it. I'm gonna wait for that to be done. It's firing effect. Well, we got one. Nice, thank you. And how exactly do we wanna get up there? I'm guessing. Yep, just like that. Oh my. Oh, just barely got it. That was beautiful. Okay, we're actually making really good progress to this. We're 88 out of 176, 94 now. Hopefully, it's something we can make work. Okay. I wanted to try to touch that. Yeah, so it explodes. Very good. I don't think there's anything above that. So we can comfortably get this one for fruit, which is good. And as soon as I see that one, we just activate it again. It doesn't look like there's anything up there. I don't have to be like super crazy diligent now that um, we've gotten the hidden gem. That guy's been very useful so far this level. And we get the checkpoint for all of our problems, or all of our troubles. Okay, so what will this one activate? Just one crate. Looks like the other one is behind that guy over there. Let's get rid of him. Oh, Aku Aku, getting our second one. Maybe, if I don't miss it. Ah, the perspective is so weird. Ah, gotta do it all over again. Should be fine. Just get over here. Oh no, hold on. But it definitely, it's a little bit harder to see the, where your like character's gonna land with this filter. And on top of that, this specific camera angle is just a little challenging. Okay, gonna get rid of that guy for now. The easy way to do this is just wait for it to sort of come across you on a platform. And that's what I'm gonna do for now because I don't wanna mess it up again. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, for a second I thought we had the, the timer. We don't. Okay, gotta move fast. I think that was all of it. But I do have to go back. Because that wasn't it for everything. We got a third Wumpa thing. That's nice. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't jump! Okay, I'm gonna do this part first. This thing is gonna make everything easier. Okay, now that we've gotten all that out of the way, I do not think there's anything else to go back for. I almost saw my doom there. Whoa. All right. Okay. This time made it look easy. 125. Oh no. Uh, there we go. Got it. Now remember that there were a good number of nitro crates, so hopefully that pads out our number enough that we're in the clear, because we're at the end. Let's find out, boom. Oh, we're missing four crates. That always stinks. Okay, I'll try to backtrack a little bit and see if maybe I can find them, because that is a major pain. So unfortunately, I just couldn't find them it is what it is. Um, I'll have to play through the level again, but at least we got the three Wumpa Fruit, and we got, did we get the hidden gem? We did get the hidden gem. Okay, so, one more time, let's make it work. Oh, there's crates over here, okay. I feel like I missed this in the original, not inverted version of this level, but there's four crates, which I'm pretty sure is what we were missing. 
So yeah, there we go, I got it. Now I just gotta make my way through. Okay, there we go, it took a lot of tries, but we got it figured out. Um, and as you can see, that means we got everything except for the saving the lives. Uh, so one more time, we got it. All right, just barely did it. This level's really challenging, but we got it done. Okay, so all seven gems in this level. Really cool to see that out of the way, because there's a lot of levels in this world, so I'm trying to make my, the most of everything here. Let's go to the next one. All right then, so next up over here, we got the third level out of, oh man, six of them. There's a crazy amount here. Stay frosty, inverted. Let's go, and we do unlock a new skin. So we're unlocking like new skins almost every level. It's very cool. Okay then, so in this level we have 137 crates. I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of work, so might as well sort of like get right to it. I was walking around like a zombie. I thought it was a, I thought they were pirates. I guess they're like frozen pirates. Maybe they're like zombies as well. Whoa, giant shark. Let's be careful for that. But so far there's already a bunch of nitro around everywhere. Um, oh, oh, there we go. Anything up here? Nope. All right, then we're good to keep moving forward. Looks like uh, we will be using the time slowdown here again. It is weird, you know, we've sort of had the opportunity to play through the game like a second time now with all the inverted levels. And I always felt like these masks showed up more often, but it's really that there's like a couple of select levels where they show up and they're very common in those levels, but beyond that, you just don't see them too often. I wanted to make sure that we get all the crates off these platforms of them showing up on the platforms is something that's gonna happen a lot. Okay, we got the one. That's all that matters, I suppose. And there's a checkpoint, because I do remember this level being quite challenging. And you can see there's some more than one way to go, which is just splendid. Trying to find all the crates, right? Okay, let's let the flame crate do its thing. And then destroy all that. Good stuff. Whoa. Watch out. Okay, if we can just get rid of the guy controlling it, so goes the actual drone. Okay, it's not worrying about that just yet, because I know there's a crate right down here, and I'm pretty sure there was nothing before that. Good luck. Okay, now we're grinding rounds. Oh, I need to slow it down. Ah, oh, that is, I remember this being super duper weird, and it's unfortunate, because you have to get all the crates over again. It just takes a lot of time. Okay, there we go. Gotta get that one. So just because you can slow down time, doesn't mean there's not timing with it. <laughs> So let's get that. Ah, okay, okay, it worked. Yeah, when it's open, that's when you want to sort of slow it down. Oh my goodness, let's definitely get that checkpoint, even if there are a couple of crates to get over this way. I just want to make sure I'm safe, you know? Um, There we go. So, so far, while there are a lot of crates in this level, like we're finding them fairly quickly, which is good. Gonna get over those guys. Get rid of you. Hmm. Well, there's another Aku Aku for us. We've got a good spread of those so far. Looks like there's some extra crates up there, and I think, oh no, I can't. <laughs> Thought I could maybe land on that green pipe. I was wrong. Uh, so let's be careful with that. Went through that quite well, though. Pretty productively, if I do say so myself. And I do. Okay. So with this part, don't worry about trying to get onto that green pipe. We don't need to. I'm sure there'll be a way to like loop around. Yeah, I can already see there is. Sort of remember that. Like, there's stuff up there. If we uh, first get rid of that, and then big jump. Just barely make that. Oh my gosh, the fallen icicles out. That's just mean. Okay, now I can order that one. Some of this other stuff. We're filling up on Wumper Fruit pretty quickly as well. It's funny because these frozen levels are always so crazy difficult, but they're also sort of kind of nostalgic for me just because of my favorite and most memorable crash levels in the previous crash games are ice levels. Like in Crash Bandicoot 2, there's a good couple of them and they all just sort of have like this really special vibe to them. Oh yeah, we have the time slowdown. I'm like, what do we do here? I know what to do. I'm just being silly. Let's explode those nitro. 
and then we can get up here, no problem. Oh, that is icicles. I just, they sneak up on you. They're very hard to notice, especially with this filter. Once again, this filter sort of obscures more than it helps point out, and that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay, apparently there's only 19 crates for this one. I have a hard time believing that. Ah, oh, I did it too soon. All right, that worked. That was a little scary. Oop. I'm just gonna keep going. Duh. Okay, don't get hit by the flames. Oh no, but that messed us up, so I do have to do this again. Um. Yeah, there's no way I can like get under from there or nothing. Yikes, I remember that being tough. Okay, almost there. Yeah, I gotta go through there first. Don't get hit by the flame crate. And then we're good. Um. All right. Uh, that should be good enough. Oh yeah, no, whoa, I didn't see the ice, icicles, not ice cubes. Oh my gosh, I was so close yet so far. Come on. Okay, I made it past. Finally did it. Boom, got it. Whew. All right, so as you can see, we need, okay, there goes one last one. 109 out of 137, very, very good. Uh, do, don't do that, that was just silly. I'm actually still like out an appropriate amount of lives to make that gem happen. If I like, don't mess anything up from here on out. Okay, there are some crates up there. So I need to find my way up there and I'm not really sure how. Okay, I think I know. So we cannot, don't get that crate. Instead, go this way, then jump up here. Okay, see, we're making it. We're making it all happen. The dream is becoming a reality. And I dream of getting all the crates in this level. It's a humble dream, but it's a dream nonetheless. Uh, oh my. Uh, yeah, we can go for it. We're fine, we're fine. So we need 20 more crates. I'll wait for another icicle platform. Right there. Okay, wow, oh, I went too soon. Okay, we got it this time, right? Boom, boom, and make that like a smaller jump. Oh my goodness, there's always so much. The only unfortunate thing here is that we haven't found the hidden gem. I only missed three crates. Oh, you're kidding. I went through all this. I went through so much here. Come on, it has to be nearby, right? Like, it has to be. I don't know. Oh, ha, ha, ha. All right, well, I tried my best. I was not able to get really, you know, most of what I wanted there. I got all the, the Wampa Fruit, so I gotta try again. Gotta get those three remaining crates, hidden gem, and die a whole lot less. So let's give that another try. Oh wait, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. I just got the gem. Where was that? I'm not really sure. I guess it was on the rail somewhere. Interesting, I think I dropped down and it was right there. Okay, interesting, huh. Okay, it took a lot of work, but I got this gem. Tons of retries, you know, we already got the one secret gem, so it really means there's one more thing to do. You guys know what it is. Play it again without dying so much. Oh, that might be a challenge with how crazy tough this level is. Okay, well actually it wasn't too bad to go through this without dying more than three times. Seeing how I've gotten so familiar with the level, I guess that makes sense. Okay then, so, level complete for Stay Frosty. I think that means we're halfway through this, this world, which I mean, that's cool and all, but oh my gosh, all that work for half. The world. So we gotta do three more levels. Let's get to it. I don't know what's gonna be next, but at least we're like unlocking new costumes we get at it. That's always cool. Uh, but actually, was it three? Yeah, we've gotten three done. Three more to go. Next one is Bears Repeating. Oh boy. So I'm a little bit nervous about this one because this level was massively difficult in the normal version. Obviously, it's not gonna be too much easier here. So let's just go for it. We have ourselves 227 crates. I think this is the one with the really difficult cortex section in the end. Honestly, like, the snow is, it makes it really hard to see with this filter. Gotta be honest, like, that's gonna be a bit concerning. I should be able to just, yep, jump on him, no problem. But hey, we'll do what we can. We'll try to get all the crates, try not to die too much. Hopefully we can make it work. Maybe I'll surprise myself and this will be a breeze. All right, gotcha. Ooh, got a crate out of it as well. Okay. But yeah, I'll just be focusing in, trying to get this level done without too much issue. 
There we go. Be careful near the flame crates. Oh, I remember this being super weird. There it goes. I like get, it, being able to get like big <laughs> spots of boxes like that though, because that is just going to be a lot of this count out of the way. Makes a little bit ah, easier to get through. I did not realize this was slippery. Um, ah, and that's exactly what I was worried about. I need to like not press the analog stick, because if you don't move when you spin, you have a lower spin, but it's more like a medium height spin if you are moving. All right, whoa, it's super weird, super, Super weird, but if I just slide right into it, like that, okay, then I'm good. Whoa, oh, that's close. Oh my gosh, this is so stressful. I don't like it. But we get an Akuaku, that'll surely help. I'll wait for that flame crate to do its thing. You'd think that a flame crate like, wouldn't that, whoa, we can get way up there. Wouldn't a flame crate burn the the crate? It's it's made of wood, isn't it? But <laughs> oh, what's down there? Nothing. I think that's where the secret gem was in the original level. There we go. Oh yeah, that's right, we have a yellow gem thing here. So let me first get rid of you, just for fun. There we go. So maybe this is where a lot of the crates are. Oh wow, yeah, I remember this now. It was like a big reference to uh, the original. Crash Bandicoot with this level. All right, boom. Got it. Okay. Oh, close one. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like this so far. <laughs> it's too stressful. Very hard to see exactly where I am. Oh, wait a minute, we got time slow down. Wait, did we always have that? Or did I just get that? Weird. I'm not sure. Why did I get time slow down for that one? Anyways, we got it, I think. What's next? Uh, let go through all that. Spin through this guy. We're doing really good so far with this level. Like, I'm sure we're gonna be done a lot more soon enough. I like, don't want to jinx myself or anything, but. Oh, there's the hidden gem. Okay. Luckily, I was looking around. I found it. And that was a metal crate down there, so I can't break that one. And we get the time slowdown. Okay. Oh, gotta be quick. Close one, close one. Oh no, I've made a mistake. It's fine. There's a land right here. Okay, let's try to get back up there. Then with the 400 Wumpa Fruit. And... Oh no. Yeah, let's just go for this right now. Or with the 400, we still only have like one gem. So that's... Ugh! Okay, it's fine. I don't wanna fall one more time. Then we get up here. And then, we make it. Excellent. Oh yeah, all the nitro. Oh no. Oh, I messed the jump up. Oh, and I didn't get a checkpoint, did I? Oh no, I gotta do all that again. Oh, I gotta do a lot of it again, oh my gosh. Okay, let's go for it. I'm just gonna bounce off like that. There we go, much better. So I got a lot of the nitro out of the way. Almost at 100 crates. Whoa. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, I remember this, that's from the Cortex version. So maybe I'm thinking more about the Cortex version of this level being tough, I can't remember. We'll find out eventually. Uh, but for right now, or maybe just like the next level in general, I could be getting a lot of stuff next up. Lots of nitro exploding. There we go, oh no, 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 it's here. Um, Not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna do the, the bonus area where we have 27 crates. This is one of the beefier ones. I feel like... Is this a good idea? No. <laughs> That's not a good idea. I gotta beat it out, I guess. I don't know if uh, hitting that counts as a crate or not. I guess we'll find out. Um, 
Yeah, let's just go for it. Ready? I mean, it doesn't seem like it, but I guess we might need it for something else. Yeah, all that stuff up there. Okay. I'm just gonna try to squeeze through. It's not working. Ah, darn. I should probably just try to jump through. All right. One more time. We got it this time. Of course, 27 crates is quite a big jump. I just really hope that, oh no. Why does that have to do it from the top down? I just really hope we can make everything else work. Wait, oh, I shouldn't have hit that. Okay, I'm learning all kinds of lessons here. Don't move so quick. Okay, so before I even go with anything over there, I just sort of wanna check this area out. Looks like everything over here is fine. So if I just break all these. So while there are a lot of crates to this level, as long as you time everything, or at least do everything in the right order, it's actually not that bad. There we go. Explode that. And then our 27th crate, of course. Right there. Okay. Yeah, this bonus area really isn't that bad. I made it complicated. Okay, so hopefully that means the remainder of our, like, 60 crates, I think are in this chasing section, which I remember this being massively difficult, so we'll find out. If I could somehow get through this without losing a life, that'd be amazing, but I'm not expecting that because I'm guessing I'm gonna have to redo a lot of stuff to actually get all the crates, like that one. I just missed that one, so I think I might wanna redo this. <laughs> Wait, oh, can you not? Maybe I have to hit a tree. There it goes. Okay, yeah, not gonna try to get all the lives figured out because it's already too late for that. We'll do that next run. I just need to focus on the crates. I remember this being just as tough in the original version. Like, this took me forever. Whoa. All right. Not gonna miss this one this time. That's for sure. So if I follow the lump of fruit, I'm usually safe. All right, Cortex is laughing at me. I don't really care much for that. Oh boy, there we go. Ah, darn. Oh, I didn't get a checkpoint, did I? Yikes. Okay, we're making this one work. Ice is always a tough part. Oh, get these crates, jump over the tree. All right, all right. There's a checkpoint. We really need to make sure we get this one. Yeah, all right. Wow, he went right through the skiing guy, that's not fair. Whoa, okay. Maybe I'm like too far close to him or something. Weird. Uh, a nitro I obviously can't get. <laughs> he just keeps laughing. There we go. Okay, come on, not so bad. Just a bit more. So did we get it? This is moment of truth. I really don't know. Yeah, we did. Awesome. Oh, I was really worried about that one. But at the end, we got the level complete with all the boxes. All we gotta do is do that without dying as much. And we got another costume, I think. So that's super cool. Let's give it a reply. I did pretty good here. I didn't die a single time going through it. That's always good to see. So we do get a new costume out of this one as well. I'll have lots of new costumes to check out in the upcoming episodes, which is fun. Maybe you should start with all the costumes we're knocking. Do a new one every level or something, or maybe like every couple of levels. But there we go, I was really worried about that one, but actually like wasn't too bad. Um, only a couple of retries there with stuff, and we did the, the crates without having to retry the level, which is always a big thing. That always takes the most amount of time. Okay, so with that done, moving on to a ton of level now, building bridges. All right, inverted version, let's go. Okay, so, a whopping 228 crates to get out of this one. I think we'll be able to get it though, especially the crates aren't like too hard to spot. For the tone levels where it's like in the desert or whatever, that's always a little bit more difficult. Oh, I almost exploded myself there. Okay, <laughs> there we go. I was gonna say, it might just be worth exploding these. I do see that one way off in the distance. And that's what I'm looking for, trying to back up and take a good view of everything. Okay, yeah, should be able to hop over those, give this guy a good kick. Very good. Tana has like a really high jump, unless she's like super tall, which certainly helps. Whoa, I didn't even see that. I was trying to prepare to make that jump. I was seeing if I couldn't hit him with the tether. Oh no. 
There we go. I don't know if there's gonna be, there, there usually is, but I don't know if there's gonna be a crate that explodes nitro, that was painful. Ah, oh, and I'm already all the way back at the beginning. Not good. Let the next oh no. Be a beach world. I just realized I, I didn't uh, explode this again. Like Hold on. Oh. I just wanna make extra sure, cause you never know. I'm guessing the fact that it's not easy for me to explode means that there has to be one. But like, I just, I don't wanna make a major mistake. There we go. Okay, so with that out of the way, just gonna do all that. Nothing up there. Still have to find the secret gem and everything as well. Whoa, weird. Got that checkpoint. I don't trust it. Ah, oh, man, the timing, I don't know what it is. There's like no tell to it. You just have to follow the pattern. Oh, I remember this being super tough. Okay. Got it. And this one I don't even have to touch, so I might as well not. Oh no! Ah, oh, but you gotta if you wanna, ah, oh, darn. So it looks like I'm probably, like we're already up to our three lives. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't go so well. Wow, that was a close one. All right, uh, get some Aku Aku. I did die a good couple of times there, cause it was just, the timing is so weird with it sometimes. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. I don't think I missed a hidden gem there. It seems like it would've been a good spot for them to hide it. Okay, and we're already playing as Coco. So hopefully I did everything right there. Um, let's look around real quick to see if there's no, oh you can't, okay, invisible wall. Can't go back that way. Which is sort of good, it means that hopefully we haven't like missed anything. Oh my gosh. It's a good thing I'm not worried about the, the three lives thing because I've, it's, it's already, it's already passed. All right, gonna do that first. There we go. Much better. Now we can go up. I realize that you can like jump around here, sort of messes up the camera for some reason. Okay, that hurt. Unfortunate. Oh, hmm. how so we're not doing this. the bonus, or we're not doing that just yet because we need to do the bonus. Whoa, now this one is a lot more complicated. Let's give it a try. Hmm, oh, no. Yeah, the timing that one's a little weird. Let's give that another try. Hmm. There we go. We made it work. My problem is I also need to go up there and touch those. There it goes. Not too bad, actually. They move so fast. Ah, it's scary. I need to do it when it's on its way back up, not when it's on its way down. Okay, that actually worked. That was really, really weird. Okay, now there's extra crates down here. I don't really need the lump for very much, do I? Maybe I do. We'll find out. Oh no. Oh, that was close. But I got him. What's funny is that there's actually, even though this is like clearly substantially. Oh no! Ah, uh, okay. We made it. Substantially more difficult. There's less crates to get. But hey, we got all of them. Actually, we're only at the first Wumpa Fruit gem there. Maybe I really should take my time to try to get more Wumpa Fruit. Or grapes, or Wump, Wumpa whatevers. There we go, there are so many more crates to get in this one. Maybe this is the one, I remember on one of these we struggled so much. I had to try so many times with it. It took, like, it took me like an hour. There we go. So far, going really well. No, I missed that one. I spoke too soon. <laughs> all right, we're making it work. I don't think I missed anything. A lot of these crates are gonna be made up. Oh my gosh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> there we go, now I messed it up. Well, I know a lot of that crate count is gonna be made up by the nitro, so I'm not too worried about it if the crate count is low, just making sure I didn't miss that like one crate is gonna have to make me redo everything. Okay, so we got the checkpoint there. I definitely, ah, okay, I got the Aku Aku, we're fine, we're fine. I, I didn't realize we can't like jump on those sections. Oh, did I get, I might wanna die on that one. I don't know if I got all three of them and I wanna make 
extra sure. <laughs> Hold on. And then luckily, I just got the checkpoint, so should be fine. Still have an Aqua Aqua, which I just wasted again. That section's a little weird though, like the lineup you have to get. Okay, I, I think I got all three of them. There we go, oh, those ones are close. We got it, we got it. We're fine, we're fine. Oh boy. Let's just try to survive this part. Jump through, oh, close one, close one. Four there, four there, we're good. Okay, Um. let's see, moment of truth. 228, that's what I'm talking about, awesome. So back to back, we got some really good crate crashing action. Uh, something like that. We never found, whoa, that's fake crash. Oh, really? Okay, maybe we already did get that. I don't know, I don't remember. Either way, um, but let's go ahead and go back. We're gonna go get the minimum lives and then also hopefully we can find that hidden gem. Oh, there it is. Okay, I got it, I got it. There's a hidden gem. Just saw it's barely there. I had to like die a couple times to go and get it. Okay, so let's just keep moving. We're almost done. I haven't died a single time yet. I wanna keep it that way. All right then, so we should be good. I don't think I had any lives lost, but I had to retry a couple of times because I kept on dying in the ton of sections. But there we go, we got it. Which means I think there's only one more level left to go. And is it a boss fight? I can't remember. I feel like it's a boss fight with Cortex, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so those building bridges completed. We have one more level left over here, four times a charm. So yeah, it's gonna be Cortex inverted, and when we beat it, we get fake Coco, which is wonderful. All right then, let's go for it. I've made a few upgrades to my blimp. <laughs> All right, Cortex. We've done this before, Rain let's do it again. Giant deadly missiles. All right. So he's launching the missiles. Should be able to dodge him. I'm like, uh, as far as I can tell, the inverted bosses are like essentially the same. They might just be flipped from left to right, right to left, but. All right, why? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Ow! Punch bot mark two is for punching you, not me. No. I don't know. Let's I'm try trying to sort of remember what happens one. here. Okay, these are easy. I'm pretty sure green we jump over and then there'll be red ones we can duck under. Oh my, uh, or there's tornadoes. <laughs> okay, oh that's right, the time slowdown technique I've not used whatsoever. Um, all right, we're just gonna, no you can't. So even when you're slowing those guys down, you can't spin them away. You need to jump on them, I suppose. All right, well luckily with each hit that we land is a checkpoint, so we're fine. We'll be okay. There we go. All right, Mr. Robot, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a jump, or not. See, oh, okay. So eventually he gets dizzy. I guess it's just my timing was good before. All right, have it your way. I loved him. Um, oh my. Uh, I might have to slow this down here. I need to like reset my rhythm. There we go. I mean, luckily there's like, there's no like cooldown on this. Like you can start it and stop it as many times as you need to, which is good. There we go, we got him. He's not happy. Well, if you won't play fair, then neither will I. Seeing all this in the, the comic book filter sort of makes me wish there was like a Crash Bandicoot comic book. I know that there was an art book that came out with this game. I actually got it. Haven't read it through it too much yet, but uh, it's really cool. I sort of use it as like a, a coffee table piece. Not as in like a piece of a coffee table. I don't know how to word that. <laughs> but as in like, you know, like people have like little books on their coffee tables. That's what I have it for. I have a couple of like gaming art books that I really like. I have that one and I have the Spyro one. They're really cool. And they basically just have art from the game and like concept art and stuff. It's fun. Whoa, okay. Visually, that was a little messy, not gonna lie. Okay, let's try again. I'll stay a little bit farther back. That should give me some space to work here. No, okay. I don't know why I forgot about the missiles. Um, Man, it just gets crazy. There we go. So these I should just be able to, okay, you can't. It looks like you can clear it just walking under them. Not true. 
Okay, I should be safe on this platform. Oh no. Oh, I thought I made a mistake there. I'm good for now. And really just like working your way through in like a circular motion seems to, overall, I was trying to duck. Oh my gosh, sometimes with the depth, it's hard to like make out with the comic book filter. It's a little weird. Okay, we got it this time. I sure hope. All right, there we go. Run all the way over. And I'm just gonna, yep, slide. There was another one behind it. Oh my gosh, I keep messing it up. All right, there we go. Finally made it under that one. It really isn't that tough. I've just been silly. Like, I mean, it's tough for sure, but it's not tough that I should be dying like a bunch of times. All right, there we go. Spin on him. We're good. We're fine. We got it. And there we go. <laughs> I like how they just cut all the cutscenes. So you just hit him and boom, it's done. Forget about it. It's over. Um, so yeah, that should be everything. We should be unlocking fake Coco for that. Very cool. Let's see if that's the case. Um, yeah, so we defeated Neocortex. We got fake Coco. And throughout today's episode, we also unlocked um, Shred in the Gnar. There's like a cool snowboarding outfit and Fuzzy Crusader. Oh, very cool. Then we switched over to Crash, we got Shred in the Gnar. And I guess no, that was Fake Crash. Very cool, so we didn't have that before. So definitely we'll check out Fake Crash and Coco and some other stuff as well in the next episode. But for right now, I think that's about everything. Next episode we have Ekibus Dimension, 88 million BCB, all the inverted levels here. So looks like we only have four to tackle. Much easier than the six we just did. Very happy that we're like making our way through, slowly but surely. It's been a lot of hard work, but we're getting there. Anyways, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.